So back to making a CRM. So in this video series, we're just working on how to build a CRM inside a bubble. Uh, you could follow this, use it, uh, make your own CRM, add special things specific to your company. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, delineating between prospects and customers. Um, and that we're just going to do that with a simple drop down. Uh, well, first, we want to go to the new account page. So when we are adding an account, we have this simple form. Just move add company down. And we're just going to do a drop down here. Very simple. I hate it when it does that. It just kind of comes up as this little tiny box because I drag a little bit. And what I want is I like the size they just show up as. Well, sorry, most of the time I do. When they show up this size, the same size as those. Great. So we have a prospect and we have a customer. Great. And this should not be empty. It's simple. We're going to make a little drop down. And then we need to go into the ad company where it now has. Oops. A create new field. And we will call this account type. Field type will be text. Type will equal drop down A's value. And also, I should be titling these, so this should be account type instead of just choose an option. Um, that way, when users get here, they see, oh, account type, I push this in. So now, it'll make two types of accounts when I make new accounts. And I don't believe I have built a way to edit accounts yet. Would you look at that? So we have view account, but we don't have a way to go into this account and edit the account details, right? So we need to add that. So before we get too far ahead, let's go back here to our accounts page because we just added some functionality here. So accounts are going to disappear because the accounts we put in previously weren't being told whether or not they were prospects or customers. But we can create a drop down still. Call it account filter. It will be prospect and customer. There. And for this one, we will do a search for accounts. And we will do the count type will equal the drop down account filters value. Great. Pretty simple, right? But when we come to this page, we want it to have something to show anyway, usually, right? So oop, don't move you. Stay there. So we can, we can do that a couple ways. One, we can go into here and we can put in a default value. We can do a default value of like prospect and then it would always pull up prospect. Um, we could do a default value of customer, it would always pull up customer. I could do here and I could have it say search for accounts and I could default this. Um, I can also do conditional and have it say when. Drop down account filters, value. is and then make decisions based on that drop down accounts value right so i can make a decisions based on the account filter i i have a variety of ways that i can do this the easiest way is to just go in and say the account type equals the account drop downs filter and then to just have this default to prospect or customer so I'm just going to default this to customer, and then I'm going to click preview. 
Also, I'm going to make sure I did this correctly too when I go to add, oops, add new account, account type. Yep, good. I want to make sure I add prospect on top and customer on the bottom on both just because it makes me happier. I like, I like them to be the same on both. If they're different, that feels like it's not continuity. And as it gets out of continuity, it just it feels wrong. So I have customer and I have prospect, but I don't have anything showing up. If I go to blank, I also don't have anything showing up. Uh, it's because we never told it to put anything in that field before. So all the old stuff isn't accessible in the app in its current form. We could go back into our data and add things, but I'm just going to keep moving on without it because, again, building still. So... Testing one, two, four. Let's do Louisiana. No idea. Fake phone number. And we'll make them a prospect. Great. So they show up and they go to this page so on this page I would like them to show up and I want it to say something up here about what this customer is I want it to say that they're a prospect because I'm going to log activities on the prospect too so I'm going to go to my view account and make text here, dynamic text, current page accounts, account type. And then I'm just going to pick one of these that's big. We'll put it up there. Um, when it gets to the point of you know making things prettier, I probably would design something for this. So maybe red or something, just so we always are like, this is a customer, this is a prospect. But for now, um, we can just reload this page real quick. And it should pop up with prospect up here. And this is for the sales reps. So the sales reps are moving around doing stuff. You know, they might be prospecting, they might be working with customers. This blank at least says, this is a prospect. This is not a customer. Um, so it also knows, you know, oh, if I just sold something and I need to change them to a customer. So. That is helpful for salespeople. And we need a way to edit this. So I want to do edit account information. And I don't want this to be, there we go. I'll just do a skinny button under here. There, edit account information. And what I want to do with that is have this button go to a new page. So I need to add a new page, edit account information, and actually I'm going to clone this from add new account. So edit account. I'm going to make this page the type of content account. And now it says edit account at the top, but I'm going to have it say edit account, current page accounts, company name. So it should say edit account Pfizer, right? And then I want to just say that the initial content here is the current pages accounts, company name. I'm just going to go straight down this list and do it for all of them. So it's current pages accounts, address line one, current pages accounts, address line two. And this is just all of that data. And we're going to change it from creating a thing to updating a thing, right? Initial content, page accounts zip code. This might seem tedious, but 
it's necessary. And you'll get used to doing this kind of stuff occasionally. Phone number. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to click Add Company. We want to change that to Update Company. And so let's do Update Account. Look, that looks better. And we want to edit the workflow because it has Create New. We don't want to create new. We want to delete that. Create a new one that says Make Changes to a Thing. It will be the current pages account. And then we need to add all fields. Let's drag this over there. Now we're in the right one. It had it originally. Let's go to this page and then make changes. There's nothing to change. So account type. And we are just going to Go down each one of these and add them in again. And then what it's going to do is it's going to make changes. It's going to update all these values. That way, we can change things. So, say a company you're working with changes their phone number for their main line, you can change it. You do the same thing here to like update a anything really. Um, if you want to go ahead and have it so that it's updating um, the individual employees, so like fill door, if we went back to fill door, we could build a similar view like this to edit fill door. And we could even make active and inactive contacts on accounts with a similar yes no to how we did the um, completed and incompleted um, activities. It's just a matter of how many things we want to put in here and how granular we want to get with everything we're tracking. Um, I think we're off to a pretty good start. <clears throat> so, go back here, we can edit that. We go to accounts. And we can now, we can filter our accounts, we can view things in our accounts, we can change it so that you can, when you view the account, you can edit the account. We just have to have it so that the button does something. So this button doesn't do anything. So it needs to navigate, go to page, and that should be edit account information, data to send current pages account. Great. And now that button will take us there, populate that data. We can update it. And we can even change them from a prospect to a customer. So say, I am working with Pfizer and I'm talking to one of their locations and I'm going to do sell them my product. I'm going to sell them some chemicals for cleaning up after their lab accidents. And they buy it from me. I want to put in the opportunity. At that point, I want to change it from being a prospect to a customer because they purchased from me. So I would then change, go into edit account. I change that drop down they now fall into the other list. And what that tells my sales reps is, this is someone who's bought from you. This is someone you should probably continue to sell to. And in the future too, we can run reports based on these things, right? We can run a report and see which sales reps are selling more to prospects and which ones are selling more to current accounts. Because maybe we have someone that's really good at bringing in new companies, but isn't good at maintaining a long-term relationship. Maybe we have people who are good at long-term relationships, but aren't good at selling the new companies. And we can run reports and see where people's strengths really lie. And maybe we divide up our sales team that way. But having these different functions gives us the ability to make those decisions later on. Great. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you coming in, watching, um, sticking around on YouTube, uh, learning more. I learn 
every day when I'm using this program still just because I uh, there's so many little things you can do that I might forget a um, step or how to do something here and there. So I, uh, I enjoy building these. This is a lot of fun for me. I like making the videos. Hopefully you enjoy watching the videos. Hopefully this is helpful. Next video, we are going to uh, start making opportunities. So um, to do that, we are going to make products and then we're gonna make opportunities. And then after we do that, we basically have a CRM um, that allows us to enter data. So we need to actually work on the page we built originally, which was dashboards. So um, right now it doesn't do much, but we'll be able to run some run some uh, reports out of this uh, pretty easily, and we'll be able to uh, just view sales over time. Um, maybe we'll build some invoicing here too. So good stuff. Hope you like it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Leave a comment if there's something you'd like to see me um, build. Always looking for requests. Um, I'm building this for fun. I build a few other things just for fun. Can't guarantee I'd make anything people suggest, but I'm always open to ideas. If it's something interesting, happily do it. If I can answer a question quickly, happy to help. So have a great day.